All right, the next ones we're going to get a little bit tougher on you. We are going to still use our calculator because we're still going to round answers to three decimal places. But first of all, we have to solve it for x. Anytime we have a logarithmic expression, or a natural log for that matter, if there is a variable in the exponent, we had that rule that said we could take the exponent and move it out in front. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it this as x plus 3 times the log base 3 of 11 equals 20. Okay? Now if I want to solve this, I want to get this by itself, what do I do to move that to the other side? You want to move the log 3 to the Yep, 20? I'm going to move this over here to the other side. You get a plus? No. Minus? <laughs> no. Nope. Divide? Yes, because this is multiplying, right? There's no oh, yeah. plus or minus sign in between. It's a multiply. So I'm going to say that x plus 3 is equal to 20 divided by the log base 3 of 11. Now, I still have to get the x by itself. How do I move the 3 to the other side? You try to move it over on that, that yep, side? Yeah, because this was the x and I got to move it over. What do I do to move the 3? You, you, minus. Exactly, because it's a plus, I got a minus. So I'm going to minus it, move it over here. So x is going to equal 20 divided by the log base 3 of 11 minus 3. I wrote a little bit big because I still got to do one other thing. Hey. <laughs> because notice this crazy expression in the middle. That's what we were doing before, right? Uh -huh. So in order to use our calculator, we've got to divide that up into what we were doing before. So we're going to do this. 20 divided by... And how did we break this up? Log 11. Log of 11. Divided by log 3. So on our calculator, we're going to put that in parentheses because that goes together. And then the minus 3 on the end. And again, you could just put a dividing sign instead of a fraction if you want because it's the same thing. That's what we're going to punch into our calculator. <laughs> So, 20 divided by? 20 divided by, in parentheses, we're going to do the log of 11 divided by the log of 3, and then minus 3 on the end. And what are we getting? We got 6.163. One, three, eight, two. Okay. Rounding it off to three decimal places, then we would put what for our answer? 6.163. Exactly. Looking at our previous problem, what's the first thing we should do on number five? We need to do x in parentheses minus five times log times log five, negative five? No. Plus five? <laughs> Where did I get the three? Oh, nine. Uh huh. Nine. I didn't see that little number. Um, nine. Um, fourteen. Uh huh. Fourteen equals. 12. Exactly. So all we did is we took this exponent, the x minus 5, put it in front of our expression, and then all the rest stayed the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what did we do next? And then we, um, we put the x minus 5 
equals 12 divided by log 9. Oh, log 9 minus. Log 9 of. Negative 5? No. 14. 14, right? Log 9 of 14. That all goes together. That's one expression, right? Then I'm not minusing anything, no? Mm -hmm. We're not going to minus anything, but we are going to do something. Because you we want to... negative 5 goes to the end? What do we have to do when we move it? Oh, we have to uh, make it a plus 5. Ah! It's a minus 5 over here. We're going to move it and make it a plus, plus. 5. Right. Yeah. So, x is going to equal 12 divided by... And what are we going to do with the log base 9 of 14? Hey, what, what do we do at 11? What could we do at 11? Oh, that's going to be log 9 divided by... Whoop, what one goes on top? Log 14. 14 divided by log... So 12 divided by, smoosh it in there, 12 divided by the log of 14 over the log of 9 plus 5. So, punching that into our calculator. to three decimal places, we would say? 14.991. Exactly. All right, number six, doing the same thing. Gotta fix mine because it's not showing up the whole question. <laughs> now it is. So, what should we do with that one? Okay, it's gonna be x plus 4 times log 1 9. And 8 equals 20. Exactly. Just took that exponent, put it out in front, and now what are we going to do? And then we are going to go, we're going to go x plus 3 equals... x plus what? Oh, 4. 4 <laughs> equals... 4 equals 20 divided by log... One nine, one nine, um, minus eight. Whoops. No. Nope. Did I miss something? <laughs> one minus eight. This all goes together. Log base that one ninth together? of eight. Yep. That all is one expression. Oh, so that's going to be minus four then. And then it's going to be minus four, exactly. So, in our calculator, we're going to do 20 divided by, and then what are we going to do with that? 20 divided by... Log 8 divided log by eight. log 1 ninth. And what do we have to do with the 1 ninth? we got to put that in parentheses. Exactly. Minus 4. Okay. Let's punch her in, see what we get. Do I get to do another parentheses? Yep. 
because you're going to have a parenthesis here okay. and then a parenthesis on the end. So there'll be two parentheses on the end. Four. So that's going to equal 20, negative 25.1328. So rounding to three decimal places, we're going to get 25.133. Negative 25.133, exactly.